Welcome to another one of my videos. You can help support this channel by subscribing and liking and by grabbing one of my free ebooks. Today I'm promoting Shades of Grey, an apocalyptic science fiction series, and you can grab the first two books for free. Now to the video. Today we got a lot to cover and hopefully in a short period of time. It's going to be one of those one-stop shopping locations. Anyway, so what we're going to be covering is the actual location of the deep and the things that you can find within it. Ingredients like brain fungus, cave crickets, fever blossom, starlight creeper, which is what I'm looking for, for the, for the tadpole cooking badge. And there are also communist soldiers within. I know, weird, huh? Well, let's get started with the video. The general location of the deep is next to this very large lake that's off to the west of White Springs. Here are a couple uh, locations on the map that you can look for. What I did next is I traveled to this building from my fast travel point because I wanted to mark it on the map and it's called the Overlook Cabin. And you can see it here on the map now that I have marked it. It is actually the best location to start from to find the deep. You're gonna head northeast, just travel down the road, stay close to it, go up on this side. And pretty soon you will see a phantom cave marking on your little directional bar that's at the bottom of your screen. See them kind of traveling towards that marker I placed. The marker is slightly off though. So you're going to come across a side of a small mountain and yeah I could not jump over it so you're going to have to go. It is up there but go keep going straight and you will find a way up. Just like I said follow that cave marking that's now directly in front of me. Their directional bar and this is the deep well now let's go in and quickly do some exploring there's nothing actually to click on you just walk directly into the tunnel it'll take you into this new area there are actually technically two areas this first area has brain fungus and cave cricket glowing fungus. That's basically it to this first section. You're going to come across a water source, like a little tiny cave lake. And basically you're going to have to go underwater and find a tunnel and travel to this new section. Now know this, it's very irradiated and you're going to be going into like a cave system. So if you have the underwater perk or any of those like aqua girl or the armor that allows you to breathe underwater those are good and like i said it's very irradiated i had to jump out because i was getting too much radiation and i had to uh, put on some rad shield hopefully not die so this is basically how you get through the cave system you want to turn your light on there you go see where you're going. I'm going to find this hole. Just travel through it best you can. Stay to the air pockets until you have to actually go under water. Make sure you don't take a lot of time because like I said you do get radiated while you're swimming. And that's with rad shield. And then here is the cave. It's actually very pretty. It's like a purplish pink alien landscape in here. In this section, you're going to find quite a few plants. So let's go ahead and take a look around. 
one of the things that we are looking for are the fever blossoms. So there was one. They're all over the place. So just keep going. Of course, there will be more cave crickets. And this is the thing I'm looking for, the starlight creeper. So I need quite a bit of those to help complete my tadpole cooking batch. I believe it's called seared venison or something like that that I'm working on. So I heard that this cave actually had quite a bit of the starlight creeper and that's why it came. Now let's go ahead and show you the communist soldiers that are actually in here. So let's quickly go find them. I was actually surprised to find this little compound in here. I didn't even know it was in here. So you just completely keep following the cave system. Now this is going to be a like an overlook of the building. And as you can see, there are at least two or three outside just walking the compound. I will take you around to the actual entrance to where you can go to the compound, but in this video I will not be taking you into the compound because, well, I want to get back and finish up my batch. So maybe I will do an internal video later. So let's just go ahead and take a quick look at the entrance. This is it. There's a set of stairs that goes up and I guess I didn't actually show a lot of it, but that was it. Let me show you again in slow motion. And here it is slowed down so you can see it a little bit better. There's this little entrance to a set of stairs that'll take you over to the compound. And that is what is in the deep so there are quite a few things in here let's just review real quick brain fungus cave crickets fever blossom starlight creeper and the communist soldiers and their compound with their mysterious agenda so yeah it's definitely worth a look coming into the deep now I also heard there was supposed to be some sort of alien owl like creature in here or at least the carcass of one I did not see it in that first section or in the second section. So I don't know. If, I probably just missed it because I think there's only one that you're supposed to stumble across. But anyway, I did not see it this turn. Well, let's go ahead and take one more look at the map so you can see uh, about where the deep is located. Okay, like I said before, there's this big lake to the west of White Springs. This is where the deep is located. There is actually a highway that goes around the lake. It's called 87. I'll show you that number pretty soon. There's the docks on the other side. I have not marked this location yet. And there's that 87 sign. So that is where the deep is located. And that is it for this video. If you found it informational and helpful, don't forget to like and share. Until next time.